Hello everybody, it's Mr Paul here from Charles Dickens Primary School with your daily phonics lesson. Now, see if you can remember what the letter name is. The letter name. <laughs> yeah, it's the letter O. The letter O. And it makes the sound... O. Oh. O. Oh. Let's read this word together. Oh, p, p, oh, push it together, pop, when you pop a balloon, pop. Now, what I'd like you to do is to pick up a pen or a pencil, and on a piece of paper or whiteboard, I'd like you to write the letter O, but I'd like you to do it over this side, not over here or in the middle, let's do it over here at the top. So the letter O, sometimes it looks like this, just a circle. But when we do it in our school, with our handwriting, we go up, back down, round, and a little hook at the top. So that's the letter O, and it makes the sound O. Oh, o. Oh. <laughs> now, let's give you a couple of words. Hmm. Well, the first one, actually, is... Um, my book here, this book is called Hot, Hippo, Hot. So the first word I'd like you to write is hot. We can pop it underneath here. And it's, well, it's very simple, isn't it? We'll just copy this, really. Uh, hot, uh, hot. Now this is a capital H and a capital T. So your, it's your job to make them into small letters. See if you can do it. Uh, hot. Ready, steady, go. So, small letter H is like that, isn't it? Then O, and then T. T, hot, hot. Oh, it's so hot. Now, I just wanted to show you this because sometimes when you see a book title on the front page or a shop sign, you'll see um, you'll see all the word, all the letters written in capital letters in big letters. Okay, and there's a difference between when you might be writing the front cover of a book and what actually comes inside. So inside, there's only capital letters at the start of the sentences. And then it goes to small, look. There's a small letter H here. So that's just one thing I wanted to show you to do with writing. Now, let's draw a line down the middle here. Because here we have the letter O, which makes the sound O. Oh. But there's also something a bit similar that can confuse us if we're not careful. careful. So here we have the letters O and A. Could you say the letters O and A? Very good. And they make the sound, the sound, O. O. The letters O and A make the sound O. Your turn to say it. O. That's right. So here... That's the letter O, and here, this is the sound O. Now, I'd like you to write the letters O and A on this side, please. So that's the letters O and A. The letters O and A, and when they are together, they make the sound O. Mm -hmm. Very good. Pause the video if you need more time. Now, we can point to them. We can say, O, 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 O. So our game today is, is it O or is it O? I've got some words with O in them. I've got some words with O in them. Now... There's only one way to find out which is which, and that is to sing along. So make sure you sing with me. Ready? Is it O, 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 or is it O? 
is it O, 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 is it O, 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 or is it O, O, O? <laughs> These are oats, oats, and we use them to make porridge and flapjack. Very tasty. Oats. Our word is oats. Let's stretch it out. Oats. Oats. Now let's sound it out. O t s. O t s. So that's O t s. But is it o or is it o? Is it o or is it o? Hmm, which one do you think? So, can you write it before me? Ready, steady, go. O t s. It's O, isn't it? It starts with O. The letters O and A. So I've got O, O, then t, t. Right. O t, then s. Uh, s. Oats. Wonderful. Pause the video if you need more time. If you need to change anything, or if you wrote it on the wrong side, that's okay. You can cross it out and then write it on the right side. Then give yourself a big tick. Two ticks if you wrote it before I did. That's so impressive. Don't forget, this is the letter O, and it makes the sound O. Oh. These are the letters O and A, and they make the sound... O, 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 O. Which one is this? Good. Which one is this? Excellent. Now let's have a look what I've got next. Is it O or is it O? Is it O, 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 or is it O? This looks a bit like a frog, doesn't it? But actually, this is a toad. A toad. Okay, so our word is toad. Let's stretch it out. Toad. Toad. Now we've heard every sound. We can sound it out. T O D. T O D. So that's T O D. But is it O? Or is it O? Well, it starts with T. T. O. Oh, it's in the middle. O. So it is over here. But like I said, T to start with. Can you do it before me? Ready? Go. T. O. That's T. O. And then D. Toad. Toad. Excellent. <laughs> now, pause the video if you need more time. Give yourself a tick if you got it right. Two ticks if you did it before me. If you need to make any changes, you can. Is it O, 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 or is it O? Oh, oh, is it oh, 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 or is it oh, oh, oh? This is a nice chop, isn't it? Is it a chop? Chop. It might be a pork chop, it might be a lamb chop. So our word is chop, chop. Let's stretch it out. Chop. Chop, chop. Sound it out. Ch, o, p, ch, o, p, ch, o, p. Is it o or is it o? Well, it started with ch, ch, o. It had o in it, so it's d. 
this side. Can you do it before me? Go on, go. Shh. Let us C and H make the sound. Ch. Then it's O. Ch. O. Then. Job. Excellent. Pause the video if you need more time. Give yourself a tick if you got it right. Two ticks if you did it before me. You can make any changes you need to, and then give yourself a tick. Okay. What have we got next? Hmm. Is it O, 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 or is it O, O, O? Is it, which one is this? Oh, that's right, which one is this? Oh, okay, look at this, ah. Now this is a road, isn't it, a road. Let's stretch that word out. Road, road. Now let's sound it out. Er, o, d, er, o, d, er, o, d. Hmm. <laughs> Can you write it before me? Ready, steady, go. So which side? Er, oh, oh, this one, oh. So er, er, then oh. Super. <laughs> Very good indeed. Pause the video if you need more time. Give yourself a tick if you got it right and two ticks if you, if you did it before me. Now, when you have finished that, I would like you to come up with a sentence using one or two or three or four or five of these words. You can say it out loud to your mum or dad or brother or sister or Teddy or today, if you want to, as a challenge, you can write that sentence. I'd be so impressed if you do. That's your challenge, you can write the sentence. So I'm just gonna come up with one sentence from to show you. Um, I eat hot oats. I eat hot oats. How tasty. Hmm. <laughs> Pause the video to do that, and then I will show you what is in your workbook today, Sound Phonics. Phase three, book two. We're going to be doing pages number 12. That's a one and a two. And 13, that's a one and a three. So you're going to point to the sound. What is it, is it O? No, it's O. O, O, O. Like this word here, let's read it. B, O, T, B, O, T. Push it together, boat. Now, some of these pictures have got the O sound in, and some haven't. You only draw circles around the ones with the O sound, like this boat. How about the mop? If you're not sure, stretch it out and sound it out. Mm? Op. It's O. It's not O. So don't draw a circle around it. When you've done that, onto this page. And here we've got some boats with some words in. Now, some of them have the O sound in it with the letters O and A. You read the words and then you colour it in if it has the O sound. If it doesn't have the O sound, don't colour it in. Okay? And when you finish that, that is all of your work for today. Don't forget to send me an email with it um, and I will give you some stars. And very well done and I'll see you next time for more phonics. Bye for now.